there is a lot that I want to get done today. You see, we have this new event that I've been told gives a pretty good number of Primo Gems. And funnily enough, if you remember the last episode where we were able to light up this Pyro Torch over here using a Hillitro that spawned well, where the tent is now, we actually wouldn't have been able to do it with this event being active because they get rid of the Hillitro spawns. So I am very glad that we took care of that last time. Speaking of things that we did in the last episode, I saw quite a few comments that wanted me to try out getting bloom and burning over here. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if that means I have to get the Samuturl over to that area as well, or if I could just get the burning afflicted on me and then run over there. We are going to try doing this the easier way, which is just leaving the Samuturl behind. Although I think the Samuturl already unaggroed. Excuse me. Excuse me, Samuturl. I need you to not do that. Um, can I just get you to go that way, please? Yeah, just like just over there should be a little bit better. Now that Hillichurl is in the process of respawning. At least it should be in the process of re maybe it's not dude won't get out of the water though oh he's gonna bloom himself to death please okay out of the water out of the water we can't let him die we cannot let this guy die and of course there's no waypoint close to that spot let's try this again get the little torch guy to follow us across the river and then we just wait for him to relight the torch and for the blooms to happen torch has been relit am i i'm not burning quite yet we need the samuturl to do something okay there's the samuturl now i'm going to just hope that the burning makes it oh it didn't quite make it samuturl samuturl don't respawn don't respawn you can you can still hit me see you see me you i think we're good okay so fire in this i'm burning i'm gonna actually die um <laughs> it's just that easy huh that is very good to know but now i can't wait to see what the next quest is that's locking us at a co-op we are indeed still locked at a co-op i assume it's this one the floating palace oh what's the floating palace isn't that just the archon quest yeah that's just the archon quest that's fine doesn't mean that it's the last quest that's locking me out but it just means it's the next one but to be fair that was something i was already planning on doing today however before we tackle that we do need to uncap our resin and i would like to try and get Cheerio ascended one more time today oh Oh, that actually reminds me. We kind of sadly did hit AR-50. I say kind of sadly because it means there's a lot more that I need to try and upgrade on the account. Now there are no limitations. We can max ascend everything. We can level up all the talents, all the weapons, and that's a lot more. I kind of liked when there was still the limitation. Although I suppose we could rank up the world's ascension, which should mean higher chance of better boss drops. And primo gems. It's been a couple days since the last video on here i've just been saving up the primo gems that we've gotten there were some codes we had to enter for a couple free ones we got the daily ones i think there might have even been a random quest or two so there's a very good chance that we will be seeing another five star today what's the challenge this time still not electro hypostasis huh although i really don't like the fact that all of these enemies are level 90 and they all show up as red because none of my characters are level 90 i would have just waited until everything was maxed out and then ascended but the better boss drops kind of sounds nice as well it's just better drops in general so overworld stuff might be the slight struggle for us but i'm sure it'll be fine i mean that was just stupidly easy i don't know how many primos we do get from this event but someone said in a live stream of mine that it's like a thousand if that's the case then i kind of want to wait to do a 10 pull on ito's banner and we can just ignore the fact that in the last episode i'm pretty sure i said it's smarter for us to just do single pulls all right my alchemical journey has begun this is gonna take a little learning because i don't know what i'm trying to do so you just try to fit as many pieces as possible and then we pick a bottle two two stars that should be at least four and we go put it on display right he cannot you yes i can oh we are so profitable pay close attention to the financial report no thanks oh i can afford a new bottle now i mean i have to get the chunky cat bottle just because of how stupid it sounds and then i'll take the gorgeous gem bottle as well i think i'm doing everything correctly i mean i'm kind of just clicking buttons and so far this seems to be going all right i think I think we finished the first part because my next quest is wait until two days later. And if we go into our shop, 
there is a lot for us to claim. Oh, that's right. And we get the weapon if we do all of this. This isn't like a super amazing weapon for anyone that I can think of, at least not on this account. But if we eventually get a Zhongli, it's better than a black tassel. There we go. I went ahead and finished the second, I, I guess, day of work. Although apparently I didn't accelerate anything because that was very expensive, so I didn't want to. But we will claim all of this. I will do the rest of that later. It does actually get us to level 10 in the battle pass too. And we all, wait. Oh no, we do have max refinement for the weapon. It's just that for the crown, we would need to do more, which I'm going to do anyways. So now where do I want to go to pull? I would go over to Inazuma because that's where Ito is from, but that is bait because Electro is, is the region of Electro and Dory is Electro. So no, thank you. I was going to come here and say that this guy's kind of like a giant beetle, but he's Electro. So nope. I actually was told that if I am able to beat this challenge, which I actually kept failing the previous times I tried it, then Ito will allow us to win the 50-50. And I mean, I don't make the rules here. We just need to beat this guy within the allotted time. And with our current team, we're able to do it. Then what we have to do is turn the clock... No, not two days. Turn the clock to about sunset when the sky turns nice and golden orange. As you know, that's the color of Geo. There it is. Oh, it's perfect. And then... Just like that, we come onto the banner. We are able to do a 10 pull now, thanks to that event. It is not going to be gold, but that's okay because we're only at 71 pity now. We do get a Yunjin, which is much better than the alternative. I'm not going to say their name anymore because I don't want them to come onto this account. So this will be 72 pity. Another purple, a Goro. Ugh. I hate this character now. On the bright side, because she's C6, we do get five star glitter, which means two more pulls, 73 pity. It's a blue. And this is 74 entering soft pity territory. Let's activate your C3. And this was such a beautiful spot for this. But that's okay. That's just it's one step of the ritual, right? In more positive news, if I come in here and we convert some of the hydro stuff over to Geo, then we can go and ascend Chiori to be up to par with the rest of the team. Although I'm seeing that we are definitely going to be running out of XP books here. But between the last episode and this one, I did gather up all of the plant stuff that we need. And I've been farming specters every single day. And by plant stuff, I also mean that I got what I need for Yoon Jin and Ning Wang because they need the same thing. Navia has already had what she needs for quite a while now. Then the Valberries in the Wind Wheel Asters are also collected. Again, don't worry about Goro. We will be leveling him up, obviously. It's just for the moment, I find it easier for me to focus on one character at a time. Oh, and we are also going to have to go fight weekly bosses again today. We are at 8 pity for a 4 star on standard banner with 5 wishes, so at least we're guaranteed 1 4 star. And obviously from that, any weapon or geo related character would be ideal. And we're seeing, we can't use that. But it's okay. I'd rather you give me something I can't use here and then, you know, let me win the 50-50 for Ito. So I have no complaints about this. Actually, you know what, Dory? It is time for you to make yourself useful. All right, hold on. Did you guys know that the acquaint fate you get from ascending a character for the first time is actually guaranteed to be something good if they are C6 when you do that? It is a little known effect within the Genshin Impact community. Also, I promise you I was not just collecting the wrong material. I don't know what you're talking about. Jory gets ascended. It is finally time for you to do something. I also ascended up Sayu because why not? But here we go. First wish, this was Sayu, so it doesn't matter. But here Here's the C6 Dory standard banner pull. Hey guys, no fun fact, I was actually lying. Now, however, it is time to return to the Archon quest. Oh, what a surprise. One of the guards fell off of this thing. This happens every single time I do this quest on any account. Oh, don't come down here with me. Are you guys stupid? Cannot switch. Well, what do you want me to do then? They really need to put railings up here. I completely forgot about the fact that Paimon wants to put together a crappy snack for Ning Wong. Once again, just another example of how Paimon overcomplicates everything for no reason because we don't even need one. Although I guess, you know, I shouldn't be in a bad mood yet. I will save that for if we lose the 50-50, then I'll be in a bad mood. While I was doing the Archon Quest, I just had a random thought and now I need to test said random thought. If I'm applied with burning, 
and then I try to teleport somewhere, does that burning come with me? The answer is... Yes, for a very short amount of time. I'm just wondering if with the use of portable waypoints, could I use that as a way of applying pyro to things? It'd be a very expensive way of applying pyro, but maybe it would work? I love how we're AR-50 and we just made it to the Jade Chamber. What do you think is the magic number for Arataki Ito? You think it's 75? Because if you did, you would be wrong. I have no idea what the last clip was because that was yesterday and today's obviously a new day. And since it's Tuesday, and I'm sure there's probably something that is available today, I actually can't find anything. I can't find anything that is available on Tuesdays. So while I could go farm bosses, I really want to level up this artifact. And just a couple of runs in a domain should give us what we need, except I can actually get it to plus 16 right now. So I'm going to do that. And it's another crit roll. But you see, now I, I can't get it to plus 20, and I need to see this thing at plus 20. So I'm going to do as many runs as it takes without using Fragile Resin to get that artifact up to level 20. I don't know if it was just this one run, but that felt so much better than the previous yeah a minute 19 when i was originally farming artifacts for navia that was taking like three minutes per run and one run gets us a decent amount of xp so maybe three or four more runs and we should be good i was way off with my prediction because i think that was five runs and i already put this in once and yeah even spending all of my resin for the day i don't think i can max this one artifact which feels kind of bad not being able to take one artifact from level 16 to 20 with a full day's worth of resin how do they expect you to make upgrades look all we gotta do is bank on that five times multiplier showing up a full day's worth of resin has now been spent is it enough to get this one artifact to level 20 let's see we don't see a multiplier there and Without a multiplier, yep, it's not. I'm genuinely just gonna run around opening chests to try to get some artifacts. Okay, we finally have enough. Obviously, this is already a really good piece, no matter what we're gonna use it, but we all know what we're looking for, and unfortunately, we don't get it. However, I will happily take the ER over the HP percent. Now, don't mind me while I just bypass another stupid animo pinwheel. Do you guys like getting distracted? I like getting distracted. Let's get distracted together. I was on my way back to the Archon quest when I was reminded of this quest over here where we have to light the bonfire. So if I put portable waypoint right there then we go back to that one spot where i know that there's a dangerous material and a pyro hill it's unfortunately not near a waypoint but i don't know where there's another combination of those two enemies together so this one will have to do this is the second time that this has happened every time i come here to try to get the burning reaction it starts raining but here we go we got that we got the dendro and if you would kindly do something pyro related there we go now we go to our portable waypoint and ideally we it, it, oh, it worked it worked and it's raining here too so it would have immediately put it out it's a very scuffed way of doing it but if it works it works so at some point we will have to take a field trip up to the dead tree on top of the mountain but now back to the archon quest wait a minute at some point didn't they make it so the version of tartaglia you fight during the story quest is at a set low level if that's true and since we are now AR-50, I might just be able to one-shot him in each phase. <gasps> I mean, I'm about to go beat up child, but do you see that? For the time being, we can actually access the co-op menu. Okay, never mind. It says recommended party level is 88. So actually, he's probably going to be the one that one-shots me. But hey, I'm down for a challenge. All right, let's see how much damage we do. Uh, we still do a lot. First phase, very easy. Second phase is also looking pretty easy. Maybe phase three will be a bit more difficult. Okay, maybe I lied. You know, there's a lot of geo going on right now. A lot of geo powers being shown off. You know what that's making me think. Hold on, Osile. I will deal with you in a moment. Pull number 76 is going to be our attack Ito. Oh crap, it's actually gold. It is the one and only. It's just that easy. Why are we even worried? I wasn't worried. Literally was never worried. You know what makes me really sad is the white blind does not match him at all. I mean, I did tell you guys that that ritual was all set up before and we just had to keep pulling. So I guess the question now is for the next 13 days, do I... 
Do I even try to get Albedo? If I didn't go for Albedo, I would probably go Weapon Banner because both of the five stars are fine. It's just that I know for Albedo, we have to get two five stars. And in 13 days, with most of the current event done, I don't know if we're going to have enough primos for that. But then it also does kind of hurt to not pull for one of the five stars that we need on the account. Also, these enemies are scaling to level, but usually it's kind of a pain to deal with them until you get all of the buffs. But it feels like they're taking a lot of damage already. Oh, also, I believe we have eight characters now. Yeah, Ito is our eighth character. So we could form two full teams for the Spiral Abyss now. This will be like the one time on the entire account where I can run a main DPS Chiori because of all the buffs that we have. And the only reason I kind of want to do that is just because I find her normal attacks to be fun. But obviously, they really don't do any damage. Oh! He's talking about the best character in the game. Now, the archery challenge over in Inazuma should be completely fine since we have Goro. But there is that one little spot where in Watatsumi, you have to take a little trip to an island and light up some electro monuments. And that is... Uh, I mean, I can't think of any way to beat that. Maybe there'll be something, but I don't think there is. Because unlike back on Swords Only, we don't have Animo or even Electro at our disposal. So that might be a cheat candidate. But we need not concern ourselves with that yet. Oh, I just remembered. The Liyue Archon quest is done, which means I can finally start doing reputation stuff here. Because Chiori told me that she really wants the Liyue Glider. So obviously, we have to get that for her. One of the few characters characters that actually look good in it. I think the order that will work on our characters is Chiori first, at least leveling her up to where everyone else is, then Ito, and then Goro. All weekly reputation has been completed. And that gets us halfway to reputation level 4, and this is condensed resin. We finally have it. Farming just got so much easier. Speaking of of farming. It's time for me to do my daily specter runs. Quick update coming in for you guys. I went around and found the remaining Geoculus to bring the statue up to level 9. More stamina is obviously good, but I did it more so so that we could get this. And then the 150 free primos. Also, apparently, I've pretty much done almost everything for chapter 9 of the book. Additionally, during my travels for those Geoculi, I found the promised land. Look at what I got here. A Dendro Samachurl right next to a Pyro Hillichurl. So anytime I need Pyro, it is right next to a waypoint. I just wait around for him to put down the field of Dendro and I get burning. So if I need Pyro, that might be a way to do it. Also, I just did another live stream earlier today where they didn't know that I got Ito yet. I had to kind of play it off as if I hadn't yet pulled. But I asked them hypothetically, if we get Ito, you know, what would be the best next banner to pull on? And we kind of all agreed that it would actually be the weapon banner. Trying to get up to Pity in 12 days will be quite the challenge. And on this banner, even if I got up to that pity, we could lose and then I get nothing useful. Whereas weapon banner, pretty much no matter what five star I get, we can use it. So let's first just slap down that acquaint fate that we got. And this will be, I believe, our first time pulling on the weapon banner on this account. First pull. There's no way it's going to be blue, right? Like that, that'd just be, that'd be crazy. They wouldn't. Oh my gosh, it is. I guess the better question is, can we see a four star in these couple of pulls that we have? Wish number three. We got one more after this. All blue so far. Last one. Wish number four. It's still blue. Luckily, from that fight of the whale, we did get two of the drop that we were looking for. And I also just realized that both Navia and Chiori used the same drop from the whale. So I guess just to finish off everything with Navia for the time being, even though we can go further since we are AR 50, we're not going to worry about that yet. I'm just trying to get everyone maxed out to a level 80 with level level 8 talents. So for Chiori, we will bring her skill up to level 8 as well. I guess while I'm at it, I should probably just do the other weekly bosses too, because knowing me, I will completely forget to do them. <gasps> Geo damage bonus. I will happily be accepting that. And unfortunately, I have to go fight the wolf as well, which kind of sucks because there's no direct teleport for it. Is the wolf the only weekly boss that doesn't have a teleport? Oh, you see that floating chest over there? Oh, you verse? Where are my Fremo gems that broke my immersion? Compared to the other weekly bosses, this is so easy. I have not been hit yet, and we are going into phase two in about five seconds of combat. Yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of very easy, but hey... 
I am not complaining. Just because I need to know, does this artifact roll crit rate as the last substat? It rolls defense percent, which isn't bad. You know what? Actually, I'm going to roll it up to plus eight. Game, you already know what I want to see. Defense percent, which is actually kind of crazy, or crit damage, and you give me flat HP. All right. I don't think the game understood that it's the first time I've ever given permission for it to be defense percent. I know I already touched on this earlier, but I didn't really realize what we did. We just kind of finished Navia for the time being. All level eight talents. Artifacts are actually okay on her. Weapon is maxed out for what we could have done before hitting AR-50, so that's fine. And she's level 80. So for right now, Navia is done. Now I just gotta get everybody else up to that point. And for the first time on this account, we are going to craft one whole condensed resin. Honestly, if I really wanted to, I could probably start burning through our fragiles. Because at this point, we have the highest level of every domain unlocked. And so if there are any domains where you can only get drops on certain days and we want to farm more of that drop, I probably start will... What, what did I just say? I probably will start dipping into our fragile resin supply. And look at that. We almost went under a minute for a domain clear. I know that's not much to accounts that are very established, but for this account, that is really good, especially for a domain like this one. Since we have made a bit more progress with Chiori since the last video, we're going to do one more mini damage test. I'm just curious what her elemental skill, you know what? Let's, uh, let's also put down that. We can run through that for the extra geo bonus. And then that initial hits 20k. And then these things, if they crit, is 12k. And that is only going to increase from here. And I guess very soon, we're going to have to begin working on our Ataki Ido. And before then, I'm definitely going to need to farm some ley lines. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I will see you all next time.